Hello everyone. Post the NEET result, it's very important to understand about the counselling process each and every step to get the admission in your dream medical college. So I am here with the Andhra Pradesh Medical MBBS and the BDS seat metrics, cutoff analysis and the entire counselling process. And yes, this information you can also get at the official website, which is drntruhs.in. Now the question comes, what is the eligibility criteria? So first thing for the competent quota, the eligibility criteria that I'm going to tell you here, candidates should have studied for a minimum of seven academic years, including 10 plus two from one or more government recognized institution located in Andhra Pradesh. And it's very important to know that the candidate shall satisfy local or non-local status as per GOP number 646 Education, W1 Department dated 10th July 1979 and the Presidential Order. To know more about the eligibility criteria for local and non-local candidates, please refer the official prospectus which is available on the official website. Now in the counselling process, the first thing and the important thing is the online registration. For the same, you have to go to the official website that is ugcq.ntruhsadmissions.com. After registration, you have to wait for the declaration of the rank list and for the same, you have to be vigilant for the official website. Then you need to go for the online choice filling and then you have to go for the allotment of admission process. After that, reporting is the important step and you need to just report the allocated center. Now the turn comes about the understanding of the MBBS seat metrics. So you can just have a look on the map given here. With the help of that, you can understand that what are the medical colleges available in my neighborhood. In your state Andhra Pradesh, the total number of colleges are 30, where the seats are 5,310, where the total number of government colleges are 12, where the total seats are 2360. Now, when it comes to the private colleges, these are 18 and the seats available here are 2950. And as I've already mentioned, the map will give you a clear idea about the government colleges, private colleges and the seats available. In this continuation, important to know about the colleges in your state. So first thing is Ames Vijayawada. But the important thing is note here that all the 100% seats of Ames Vijayawada will be allocated with the help of All India Counselling, not in the state counselling. But yes, a lot of government colleges are there. You can have a look on the medical colleges along with their city and the total number of seats available. Now, important to know about the private medical colleges for MBBS. So here is the list for the private medical colleges and their allocated seats. And this will give you a clear idea that what are the options available in your nearby cities. Further, BDS is the important course and important to know about the BDS seat metrics as well. So total number of colleges available for BDS in Andhra Pradesh are 16. The total number of seats are 1440. Out of which total government colleges are two where the seats are 140 while the private colleges are 14 and the total number of seats are 1300. Once again, map is there to give you an idea about the seats available in the nearby cities and with the help of that, you can just choose your dream medical college. Now have a look on the list of the dental colleges in your state. So government colleges, two government colleges have been mentioned here and rest of the private colleges are also there along with the number of seats. Let us understand the medical counseling chart here. So in Andhra Pradesh state, the medical counseling process is subdivided into two categories. One is the competent quota counseling and the second is the management quota counseling. Now first I'll be looking at competent quota counseling. So this is further subdivided into two categories. One is for the government medical colleges and the second is for the private medical colleges. If you just look at the government medical colleges, definitely 85% government seats have been filled by state counseling and the fee that is 10K per annum. While the private medical colleges are also providing their 50% seats as the government seats, right? And if I'm talking about the fee structure, this is 15K per annum. 
Now the question comes, what is the bifurcation of the management quota counselling? So yes, it is divided into two categories, private medical colleges where the 35% management seats are available with the fee approximately 12 lakhs per annum, while private medical colleges are also providing 15% NRI quota where 36 lakh per annum is the fees. Now, if I'm talking about the management seats, 85% seats for local candidates of Andhra Pradesh would be provided and 15% seats are available for all over India candidates. Post the counselling chart, important is to look at the list of documents which are required at the time of admission. So, academic eligibility mark sheet, certificate, NEET UG admit card and the mark sheet that's needed, domicile or the nativity certificate if it is applicable, caste certificate if it is applicable, PWD certificate if you are belonging to the same category, passport size photographs, government ID proof, minority certificate if applicable and other relevant documents as per your eligibility norm. Now have a look on the Government Medical College cutoff of year 2022 and I'm taking the counselling till round 2 here. All India rank and the All India cutoff is mentioned here. Have a look here OC category 52,453 was the rank and the cutoff marks were 544. If I'm talking about the EWS category 58,085 was the rank and the cutoff marks were 536. When it comes to backward category, so it is subdivided into five further categories A, B, C, D and E and for more details about them and the bifurcation, you have to go to the official website. So here 89,733 was the rank and the cutoff marks were 492 for backward category A, further for the backward category B 87,438 was the rank and 495 were the marks right now for backward category c 110490 this was the rank and 467 were the cutoff marks for backward category d 81373 this was the air and cutoff marks were 503 same ways for backward category e 112587 was air and the cutoff marks were 465. Now further turn comes for the SC category, 136,410. That was the rank and the cutoff marks were 439. Same ways for ST category, 179,439. This was the cutoff rank and the marks were 399. These were the cutoff category wise. Now turn comes for the private medical colleges government seats i'm talking that is category a and yes once again this is round two counseling 2022 up to which i'm just looking into so first thing oc category 63212 all india rank it was and 528 were the marks same ways for ews category it is not applicable but yes for bc category a 1,13,245 was the air and the cutoff marks were 464. Same ways for backward category B, 1,7,975. This was the cutoff rank AIR and same ways the marks were 470. Backward category C, 1,25,945 was the cutoff rank and the marks were 450. Same ways for backward category D, 1,7014 was the AIR and the cutoff marks were 471. Same ways for backward category E, 1,37403. This was the cutoff AIR and the cutoff marks were 438. For SC category, 1,50545. This was the cutoff rank and yes, the marks were 425. For ST category, it was 1,98,324 and the cutoff marks were 383. I hope these ranks and the cutoff marks will give you the clear picture about the last year's cutoff. And now this is your turn to perform well to get your government medical seat, to get your medical college.
Now question comes, is there any type of scholarship? So yes, scholarship is there. Post metric scholarship scheme is there, which is applicable for SC, ST, BC, EBC, Kapu, minority, differently abled categories. The total family annual income to be less than or equal to 2.5 lakh for the same. And the total land holding of the family to be less than 10 acres of wet or 25 acres of dry or 25 acres both wet and dry land together for more details about it definitely you have to visit the official website once again i'm telling you here that jnanabhumi.ap.gav.in this is the website where you can just check the criteria now turn comes for the bond so it's important to know that there is no service bond in the government and the self-financing institution in andhra pradesh so this is the information that was very much needed for the counselling process. My best wishes with all of you. Keep preparing and get the good rank and the good medical college of your choice. Thank you so much.